one of the more useful plugins that you can enable in OCalc is the scripting plugin. And what it lets you do is write small, very compact scripts in C Sharp to perform bulk operations and to do other things that might be tedious if done one at a time manually. So let's take a look at what we might do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open a poll just so I have one. Preferably a poll that's actually on my machine. And let's say, for the sake of argument, that all the spans on this poll were supposed to have their owner set to a certain value, or their owner set to a certain value by rule, you know, by, by type. And that can be fairly tedious. Well, if I want to do that using a script, I pull up my scripted tool, I go to manage scripts because I'm going to make one for the first time. I say new script, and we'll call it set span owners. Now, in my case, I'm using Visual Studio as my um, C sharp editing, but you can use Notepad, you can use Xamarin, you can use the free version of Visual Studio. The reason I like to use Visual Studio is that it actually it actually allows you to use the IntelliSense feature because all of the <coughs> assembly information from OCalc is automatically pushed forward by the scripting engine. So, let's say I, I want to go through, I want to find all my spans. So I say, PPL, pull, pull, equals me, PPL, dot, get, pull. Just for good hygiene, I'm going to test that the pull is actually there. So if pull is not equal to null, So now I want to get all of the elements on this poll. So I say PPL element collection equals poll dot get element list. Now remember that get element list hierarchically walks the list and flattens it out. So this is literally every single thing attached to this poll all the way down um, through the parent-child relationship. <laughs> so Let's go ahead and loop through them for, for each element in the L. So for each of the elements, if Ellen is a PPL span, then Say Alan dot set value. Now remember that you can find out what your available values are by using the Scheme Explorer. So let's go back to OCalc. Now you notice I actually closed the I closed the um, scripting plugin, but because I'm doing it in an external program, the script is still up in the middle for me to edit, so I can do this. If I go under my options, miscellaneous option, uh, excuse me, my tools, miscellaneous tools, schema explorer, and look at my schema. Let me put it over here where we can all see it. And I go down to a span. So this is a list of all the attribution of a span. And so the one I want to set is owner. So the attribute is actually named owner. So that tells me that I want to set value owner. And I'm going to set it to, to so we can see that it worked. And so the last thing I need to do is tell it to reload everybody. So... Reload dep. So the data entry panel will now reload. And just as easy as that, I've actually got a script that I can go ahead and run. So... With that very few lines of code, which I can, by the way, reuse, so let's go back into our scripting, manage scripts, 
Now we called it set span owners. Now if I click this, if I click it here and say run, it'll run. If I set the checkbox, it'll actually hook it up to the main menu so I have it available for convenience. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to go ahead and say run. And it will, it's done. I might have wanted to put a message box in there just to, uh, to uh, verify that it actually worked. But let's go look at a few of these polls and you see that the owner, or excuse me, some few of these fans, see that the owner has been set to my power code. So I can do all sorts of things. For example, I can transfer spans, owner names down to the insulators that they live on. I can perform verifications. I can do all sorts of bulk operations that improve the efficiency in my operation by writing these little scripts. So let's, um, let's pick another poll. Uh, let's pick another poll. Actually, got some spans on it. That would be more useful. Here's a poll that's got some spans on it. And I want to show you what that force reload def operation did. So, all right. You see, the owner's undefined all the way across here. Let's go back to our scripting manager. Now, remember I said that if you click this, then that'll be available on the shortcuts menu. So now if I go to tools, scripting, there it is, set span owners. They're all, they're all alphabetical. I click that, and you notice just as quickly as that, they all switched over to my power co. And I've made that change um, that would actually take me a fairly long time if I did it manually one span at a time. Even if I did bulk, uh, you know, bulk select and, and changed as a group, it would still take some effort. But by writing these scripts and having them in my arsenal of available operations that I can perform in my organization, I can really improve the efficiency of OCALC operations.